All right, this is kind of a comment that's shown up a couple of times on the website. I've gotten a number of emails. I actually got one email from a, a fairly livid supposed golf instructor that said, you're promoting a shut face at the top and you're saying shut the face, but your club face isn't really shut at the top. He said, if all your right wrist is doing is doing this, then your club face is gonna be shut at the top. And I go, well, here's where you don't really understand physiology and anatomy. Okay, here's what happens. I'm gonna use this big club so you can see. When I swing the club back, if I'm sitting here hitting little pitch shots relative to my swing arc, So let's say that's my swing arc, okay? So when I'm, when I'm swinging here, okay, my club face is at a 90 degree angle to that swing arc. But now I want you to watch what happens. When I go to the top and I go up here, all of a sudden when I get up there, now my wrist has still just done this. But what happened? So I'm there, where's the face? It's not this way. Okay, well, why isn't it? Well, here's what happens. Misconception. The rotation in your arm, okay, this is a ball and socket joint. This is a hinge joint. Now, these two bones are set up so they can, they can relative to your elbow internally rotate, but they can't externally rotate. The wrist can't externally rotate more than lined up with your elbow. It can internal, it can't external any further, okay? So when I put my wrist like this, when I go to the top of my swing, what happens to my right arm? Now, if my right shoulder socket was really tight and my right arm didn't rotate in my shoulder socket and I just went to the top like this, then where would the face be? It would be shut. But what does my right arm do? Well, as I get here, as the weight of the club goes around, my right arm rotates in my shoulder socket. It externally rotates. So even though my right wrist has only done this, and it's done a little of this, that's ulnar and radial deviation, flexion extent. So because it's just basically done this, what has my arm also done? Well, my arm's rotated in my shoulder socket. So this face doesn't look like that because my arm's rotated in my shoulder socket. So now where's the face? And then when I start down, as I start down, then what does my arm do? Well. All these players that want people to take their elbow and go this way with it, I mean, I guess if somebody's really steep, that might help initially. But what I feel is not this one. I feel when I'm here, my right arm, when I start down, my right elbow comes down and my arm then internally rotates and it rotates the face right back to there. Now it's still shallow and it's still from the inside, but instead of it being in here, it's right there where I can just let it go through the ball and there's less face rotation. So it's not, I'm not preaching a shut club face at the top necessarily. I'm talking about how this wrist works. And just because I'm doing this, when my arm rotates, my wrist joint, not my hand, when you look at my hand, my wrist joint isn't facing back that way. Why? because my arm from here rotates in my shoulder socket. So you can see what it's doing there. So at the top, my wrist is no longer at a 90 degree angle to my swing arc. It's actually parallel to it because my arm is rotated externally and then it goes whoop and then it fires. So no, I'm not promoting dead shot and across the line at the top. That would happen if your arm didn't rotate in your shoulder socket. But if your joints work correctly and your arm rotates, then your wrist can just feel like it's doing this. And the weight of the club will also hinge it up and down. So, but it's like throwing a ball. So it starts feeling this way. You don't feel any of this stuff going on. Very little of it. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for regular updates and tips. Thanks for watching.